Hi guys, my name is Rushali and I hope you all are doing great and you're preparing well for your CA foundation examination. Now I'm here to help you with your 1.5 day revision plan, how we are going to revise the 27 hours before our paper two. After you come back from paper number one, you have given on 31st December, you'll see everyone has their plans for celebrating the new year, but our new year will start on 6th. 6th of January, when we are done with our papers, that time we are going to get into the party zone and enjoy everything, right? So when you come back from your paper one uh, on 31st of December, you may come back by 5.30 or 6. After that, take some snacks, relax yourself, have something light and you get back to study at 7 p.m., right? When we get back to study at 7 p.m., 7 to 9 will be covering the communication chapter. You see, there is two marks question everywhere uh, in the every bit of communication chapter in the paper. So of this communication chapter, we'll be covering around eight marks. Then you take a break or little and you get to uh, have your dinner over here, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. You get to have your dinner, take a small walk to relax your mind, calm yourself down. And we are not going to do too much on the first day. We are then getting to 10 to 11, where we study the note making and summary writing. For this, you have to practice two questions within time. Like you have to set a time and you have to practice the questions by writing it uh, and you'll be get to know, you'll get to know which things are going wrong while we are preparing a note. For this, what you can do is you can refer your MTP with the mock questions you can prepare so that that will help you. If they come in examination, you'll have a little idea of what type of questions come. This is where uh, you can also practice the suggested answer ones. Anyone you feel, any paper you feel you should be practicing, you can try that. OK, so on the first day, on the examination day of 31st, we are covering uh, around 20 marks in three hours. We are studying for three hours and we are giving our 20 marks study. We are doing our 20 mark study over here. By 11, 30, 11, 15, you need to go to sleep. And as soon as you go to sleep, uh, you'll wake up at next day at 6.30 around where you will freshen up, you'll have something uh, some hot water you can have in this weather, cold weather that is going to keep you relaxed and it is going to keep you active. The benefits of hot water are good for our studies. It is going to keep us active. Then when you wake up at 7 till 9, you'll be doing Companies Act. You'll be revising the Companies Act. Here you'll be covering the units, major units of Companies Act where uh, it will help us to cover our 10 to 15 marks. Right. Then take a break 9 to 9.30, have breakfast or if you want to take shower and everything, you can get ready for your studies, for your next target. OK, and then coming to 9, 9.30 will be your break time. We'll be covering 9.30 to 10.30. In one hour, we'll be covering contract acts, unit one, two and three. See, two and three is highlighted over here. Two and three are the important ones. OK, so in one hour, you'll be covering all the major units over here, one, two, and three. Four, five, and six, we are going to cover after a little break of 15 minutes. Take 15 minutes break and we'll be covering this uh, remaining chapters in our remaining time. 10.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. You're going to sit down for two hours, like two hours, two hours, 15 minutes. 15 minutes is your buffer time for covering up whatever is left. So chapter one, uh, sorry. Contract Act Unit 1, 2, and 3 and Contract Act Unit 4, 5, and 6. Here you have covered your major marks of the paper. Again, 15 marks, 15 marks you can say we are covering here. That is, we have prepared till here of around 50 marks. Okay, so before your lunch on sec uh, 1st of December, you have covered 50 marks of revision. We are very good at this position. And we are good to go for the second half of the day, where we will uh, we are, we will be covering the Partnership Act, Sale of Goods Act, and other things. Okay. Now see, when we uh, come after one p.m. after one p.m. you have covered your paper, then take a lunch break one p.m. to two p.m. Have your lunch. If you want, take a small nap that will help you to relax and be uh, ready for the second chunk of the day. Okay. In the second chunk also, we have divided in three hours, two hours slots. That is going to keep you active. There we have given a little break also of one hour for you to relax. With studying, we are taking breaks also. See, the process is going to be very easy because the atmosphere around us is of new year. Everyone is uh, celebrating, etc. 
so we shouldn't be zoning out of this and being a monday a productive day we all are going to be uh, studying and supporting to you throughout the entire process okay now 2 pm to 5 pm your partnership act unit 1 2 and 3 see unit 2 and 3 is highlighted in yellow these are the important units where major questions are asked so in three hours, you'll allocate your time in which units you are weak. You're going to cover them uh, nicely over there in the beginning hours. And then with the remaining hours, you'll be covering the rest of the units. This depends on you. You can uh, do like this. You can allocate around uh, 40 minutes for unit one. And the remaining 120 minutes is to be allocated between these two units. You can allocate in any ratio which you feel is better for you. Okay, then 5 to 6 p.m. You can take a break. You can uh, walk. You can have uh, your snacks. You can uh, get yourself some uh, thing to uh, relax yourself down. You can meditate over here. That is where you take your break from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Because after this, we are going to study for two hours again. Okay, in the next two hours, we'll be studying Sale of Goods Act. Again, important chapter. 10 marks here you're covering. 10 marks here you're covering. Major chapters, okay? Then Unit 2, Sale of Goods Act. Uh, unit 1 and 2 of Sale of Goods Act, you have to cover in the first two hours, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then we'll be again taking a, a break for your dinner. This time you can have dinner with your family. You can relax yourself down and uh, prepare yourself for the next chunk of the day, last chunk of the day before examination, where you're going to study Sale of Goods Act, Unit 3 and 4. Okay, Unit 3 and 4 are very important. It is again going to help you with 5 to 8 marks, like the combined thing is 16 to 18 marks of Sale of Goods Act. Again, a very important chapter, which we need to focus on. Okay. Now, 11 p.m., 11.30, if you feel like you are left out with something, you can cover up all those things. And 11.30, you can uh, close your books. You can go to sleep. We need to take good, um, uh, good time of sleep. If you sleep by 11, wake up by 7. That is going to give you 8 hours of complete sleep. That too in the examination process. So you have to just trust the process that you are doing, the studies that you have done. You have revised everything till here. And all the important things are done. So you have to be uh, uh, like, you can be rest assured that your paper is going to be great. You're going to perform great in your paper. Okay. Then when you wake up at 7, 7 to 9, you'll be covering LLP. And you'll be checking out all the amendments that are given. And important topics which are uh, said by, like which are you, which you feel are to be covered before examination, which we have observed from the suggested that these topics come in the examination. Okay. Then take a break of 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, you can take your shower at this time. You can have your breakfast. Pray to God that everything goes great on this day also as it was on the first paper. Right? Then 10 a.m. you will get back to revising the things. Article writing, precise writing, which is for five marks again, five marks again. Email writing or letter writing comes in the option of five marks again. So your last 15 marks are covered over here. So before our examination, around three hours before our examination, by 11 a.m., we are done with everything. In the remaining time, 11 11.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. to your 1 p.m., you can revise all those things that you feel are important. Or if you want to go through the suggested ones, mock, mock papers, RTP, MTP, suggested, you can do that in the remaining time, 11 a.m. to your 1 a.m., 1 p.m., okay? This time is given for you to revise the way you want, right? When uh, you reach the examination hall, you have to reach at around 1.30 so that you get 15 minutes to relax yourself before the paper comes in your hand and you start uh, going through it. So 1.45 to 2 p.m., we have seen how we have to approach. I have told you n number of times that we have to attempt all the best questions, all the best answers we know in at the beginning of the paper, okay? Then uh, in 1.45 to 2 p.m., you'll be selecting all the questions. You have to appear. If you want, uh, you can just uh, note down a key points uh, which you want on the exam paper, like on the last paper, on the rough page of the answer sheet, where it will help you to re uh, remember them throughout the paper. You can write down on the last page and whenever you're writing that question, you can refer that. After you're done with your paper, just erase it. 
write it with pencil and later on you can erase that too. Okay, that is what you can do for yourself. It is not compulsory, it is not mandatory, it is for ourselves. Okay, then two to five, be calm, write your paper very nicely. Exam, you have to attempt very nicely and with uh, all the key points, with all the provisions written correctly, presentation to be checked on, all these things you have to keep in mind in your two to five hours. I know you're going to perform your best. You're going to give your best and you're going to score. Score good marks in your paper. Okay. Then 5 p.m. The paper goes from your hands and it is gone. Now nothing is to be thought of it. You can't change the time. You can't bring back the paper. Right. So you have to just uh, forget about that paper. And after 5, reach home by 5.36 and 6.30 you reach. Have a little snack and get back to studying at 7 again for your next paper. You can also see a 1.5 day uh, plans that we have made for your paper number three. Okay, it is available on Hari Academy channel, channel and you will be referring them to prepare well in your paper number three also. Okay, so throughout the journey of your foundation examination, we are there, uh, uh, the teachers of Hari Academy are there with you in the entire process. We'll be helping you, supporting you, guiding, guiding you with the entire process. Okay. Trust the process, trust your studies that you have done. Be confident about it. And I know you're going to rock the paper. You're going to write extremely well and you're going to score really nice marks. All the very best. And I hope you'll be scoring good marks. You'll be performing well. This video was helpful to you. Uh, do like the video and also uh, comment your thoughts or if anything you need, any help you need, you can comment down in the comment section over here. Thank you.